Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, some parts showed up. So we got our new front panel in. I believe it came from the thing shop. Um, it's here. We just kind of mocked it up. It's not welded in or in. It's just sitting there. Vice grips are holding it on. But we got the hood sitting on it. We got a little work to do. Nothing crazy. But man, oh man, does it change the look of the thing. Getting rid of the one that was on here, which was just completely rotted off from here down. It was gone. Uh, huge difference. So, we're making progress. Um, <laughs> I, uh, unfortunately, uh, got injured today. I cut my finger pretty good. But, uh, with a grinder, uh, kind of a little service announcement here wear gloves and uh don't talk and grind it uh there's a good chance you will get bit i'm fine i didn't need stitches or anything but i went pretty deep down the top of my finger probably an inch and a half two inches long uh real quick didn't really hurt that bad but you know when you feel air and you're looking at your inside of your finger you go wow that's not great. So, managed to get some more grinding done down here. Um, been hitting the rust spots on the bottom of the dash. So you can see the shiny spots on the white. Um, started working on that pillar, getting the everything off. It'd be like right here. All of this stuff off. Same on this one. Um, I did get under here. All of that cleaned up. So... That's done. Ron has been working feverishly on things that you can't see right now. Um, we're getting the patches in. Um, there's a lot of them. Um, let's see if I can't open this hood without everything falling apart. I've got a lot of this ground down in here. Um, still got a lot of work to do, but you can see the vice grips holding on the panel. But we are getting there. And uh, I got the speakers out, which are great because they were just in my damn way. Um, Ron has been working on those panels down there where you see where he ground it down. And then these over there going in. And then there's ones behind this on the inside that got done. Um, so we are we're getting there. 30 seconds. Guys not drop this on the ground so we're getting there the uh we ran into some other things which i'm sure you guys run into or have run into um so the front suspension of the thing right so when i got this uh the original thing beam Okay, the beam itself was rotted in almost in half. Um, so I bought this beam. It's a Type One beam uh, from a guy uh, for a hundred bucks. Cleaned it up, put all new Zerk fittings in it. We welded uh, these brackets on here off of the thing beam. Cut them off the thing beam. Welded them onto here to make sure we had the braces just like a thing supposed to have. All of that, no issues there. Got the leaf packs right here installed no problem problem comes in and this is where this this guy that sold me this is uh kind of got me here a little bit so i ordered well let's go back so these are the assemblies this is the passenger side um, torsion arms ball joints spindles backing plates front uh, brake drum okay when i bought the thing he told me that he was going to take the thing spindles off of it because he wanted to put them on his carmen gear which is fine no issue there because i wanted to go low i didn't care about being three inches higher or whatever it is two three inches so i was cool with that so i just assumed as looking at these being that they were installed on the thing beam that's on the on the thing when I bought it and it rolled, that he just replaced the spindles with early beetle spindles. 
And looking at the condition of the ball joints and shit, I figured he just ripped it apart. I'm learning that is not what he did. So what he did was he took these nuts off right here, boom, and boom, and slid the entire assembly out off of the thing and put the early beetle assembly back in the beam, okay? Fine, no issue there, other than he didn't tell me that, and I was assuming that this was thing, okay? So in assuming that, I bought from the thing shop uh, the four ball joints uh, for a thing. They are different. So tomorrow morning, I'm going down to Fisher Buggies to see the guy that sold me the car and uh, ask him what exactly he did and see what exactly I have. I'm taking the other, the driver's side. I have it all cleaned up, no grease. I'm going to take that with me with the ball joints I have and see if we can't come to some kind of arrangement where we can actually get the right ball joints for this thing. Because what I've got is kind of a weird deal. So one way to make this kind of work would be to take the lower arms, these, and switch them. So this is the passenger side. This one will go on the driver's side, and the drivers will go on the passenger. And the reason for that is because the ball joint on here presses in from the bottom. The ball joints that I have press in from the top, okay? So when you flip these, you would be able to actually, you would, there's an actual indentation on the bottom here where this fits. So you can't press a ball joint in from the top. It has to go from the bottom. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing I got to figure out is I bought brakes, all of the brakes, for a thing the front of a thing i'm pretty sure i have the right stuff coming from gear bugs but um i'm not positive so I'm, we're going to verify that tomorrow um if this is a total shit show disaster and none of this stuff will work and blah 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 which i don't think will be the case but if it is last time i was there which was a couple weeks ago they had a two inch narrowed beam with everything sitting there ready to go, disc brakes and all the things. And that might just be coming home with it. So we're gonna be ready for to do either. First and foremost though, I'd like to try to make this beam work. Um, so that's kind of what I got. Um, just kind of a weird smorgasbord of shit when it comes to suspension on this. Um, it's right, the back now is right. Um, I did order the rear drums, the five lug thing rear drums, and it does have uh, thing backing plates and all thing, uh, all new brakes from a thing on there. So the rear is correct. All of this is correct, right? The problem is here. And they, like any car build and working on something you've never worked on before, because we've never built a Volkswagen. I think dad messed with a couple when he was younger, but. Um, is you learn some of the differences in these things, right? So hopefully my my plan is tomorrow to have the ball joints or at least have the ball joints ordered. Um, that way I can go ahead and get this front suspension on this week, get the shocks in, get all of that on. The brakes are on their way. Um, all the internal brake parts. I'm going to try to have these drums, the front drums turned if they're actually what I think they are. And uh, they seem nice. So if they can turn those, that would be great. And then the hope here, uh, I spoke to the wheel company that is going to make the wheels for this. Um, they are, they are in route. They should be here. Um, they're coming from Germany. Um, they're due to arrive in port on the 15th, so just a couple days. They should have them at their shop. Uh, come to find out they're in Plant City, which is great. Uh, they should have them hoping on the 20th of this month. So what we're going to do, barring all this other shit works, is we're going to go 17, probably I think it's by 6, in the front. Um, in the back will be 17 by 7, 
with a little wider tire because we had an issue. It's not really an issue, but it's one of those things where if you put a stock rim and tire on the rear of this particular thing, it's going to look weird because found out not knowing much about Volkswagens. I figured this out the day I pulled, I took the first video for this series. Uh, we have two inch wider rear fenders. Uh, the fiberglass two inch wider rear fenders were on this car. So I don't want to buy fenders. I do like the idea of a staggered wheel setup on this. 17 front and back with uh, the right size tire. I think it was saying 205, 50, something, something to that effect on the rear. And then he had the right tire size for the front um, in the wide five bolt pattern. Um, so hopefully before the end of the month, we will come back with uh, four wheels and tires brand new for this thing. Um, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what they are because I'll make a whole video about that. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, and then we'll have this thing rolling. And then the next phase of this, as far as buying parts, will be clutch, tens, um, carburetor, exhaust, and then a starter. I need a starter. And then hopefully we can uh, fire this thing up. So get it mounted, fired up. We did, um, as you can see, the garage is pretty clean, right? So what's going to be happening here shortly is this frame right now goes underneath the thing. You've probably seen it in the other videos. It slides straight under the middle here and, and through it. Once I put wheels and tires on this, and once I put the front suspension on this, we are too tall and too wide to do that. Um, so, we took Big Red's frame, moved it to the side of the house, over here. Big Red's frame is right there. The um, Chrysler, which was here, is now here. There's Chrysler 300. Dad's 40 Ford will be pulled out, and this will be uh, sitting right here. Hopefully assembled, painted, detailed, ready to go, ready to go under the this, under this thing. That is the hope. So um, I know it. it's a long, uh, it seems like a long draw here on the uh, metal work and body work and all of that. But the reality of it is this car was a little rough and we are fixing it. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, even the people that had this before us, you know, there was rust here, right? Well, we cut it out and put it in a panel. Um, they covered it with Bondo body filler, you know, um, you know, that's not what we're doing. We're not going to do that. We're building it as if we were going to keep it, even though we are not. Um, so lots of things still going together, but it is exciting to see the hood and it's a little off at the moment. I, when I opened it, I kind of screwed it up, but it is good to see the front panel, the hood sitting on it. You know, it's starting to look like something, um, you know, it's coming together. So God willing, uh, we're going to get the ball joint debacle uh could be a beam debacle figured out tomorrow morning um and then from there if they give me the right stuff and have it i'll come home and i'll press them in i gotta press right there and uh we'll press the new ball joints in and uh get all that painted up and cleaned up and i'll show you guys how to do that um how to mark where the orientation of the uh, ball joints and stuff so you guys know how to do that um i'll make a little video on that just so any of you trying to do this you know you don't just throw the ball joints in; they go a certain way so um and it's not just how they press in it's also the orientation of a certain groove in there to where they move forward and back not side to side and so on and so forth so hopefully tomorrow we'll get that figured out next couple days get this together get the axles here cleaned up the cv axles cleaned up and bolted on they're they're actually in, in really good shape they're just a little dirty get them cleaned up and on and then we're just waiting on wheels and tires 
uh, before the end of the month. I'm thinking, honestly, the somewhere between the 20th and the 25th. Um, I'm going to go on the 20th and uh, purchase them and talk to them about the tires. They're going to get the tires. That's why I'm saying it's probably a couple more days. They'll get the tires, mount them, balance them, do everything but put them on the car. So there'll be a whole video on the wheels. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, they are cool as hell. You're going to love them. Um, we're going to have a really neat look to this. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, and a million things could go wrong, you know, they might not fit and so on and so forth. That could happen too. So I'll keep you posted. I uh, just wanted to give you a video cause I promised you I would. Um, there's the box. The, the front panel came in the thing type 181 kind of cool. Um, but yeah. We are getting there. Um, my finger is fine. I'm, I didn't die or cut it off or anything stupid. Um, but uh, that's what I got for you. And I uh, wanted to show you show you all what it looked like with the front panel. Because none of us have ever seen it with this not completely rotted off um, and terrible looking. Um, so it's kind of neat just to see it. Um, even if it is vice gripped on. So... You guys have a great night. Um, hopefully, you know, whoever you're uh, rooting for in the Super Bowl does well. I really don't have a dog in the fight. It, um, I'm a Cincinnati Bengals fan, and uh, we'll be there next year. I think we're uh, destined for this, being I think it's in uh, New Orleans. So uh, good luck to you, and uh, we'll get you another video out probably tomorrow or Tuesday. And... Uh, Hopefully with some, some answers to some problems that we've run into. And, you know, the reason I tell you about this is these are things you could run into. And if I can save you the hassle of what I'm going through, well, so be it. I'd, I'd much rather help you than not help you and just show you random shit that doesn't matter. So, anyway, have a great night. We're going to go watch Super Bowl and uh, wait you up tomorrow. Have a good one.